Welcome to Chase Talks, my name's Chase, broadcasting to you from Garrick Mock Monastery. And today we'll be continuing our normal schedule after we're finally gone through the Christmas season, the holiday season, uh, starting off our regular schedule with a continuation of our Golden Deer playthrough. Now with no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cut into the episode. Picking up where we left off in Christmas Gone Maddening as we return today to our regularly scheduled broadcast. We had just finished battling in the Red Canyon, and now we're gonna da da da. I remember being a peaceful place. Da da da. Question mark? Hmm. I wonder why it is that you recall this. I think we've already. I think I've heard this. You surprised me. Although the. Well, and as far as I can. Still, it feels familiar. Very. I must have been. and yet if I was teach oh it is time to depart but know that time reveals all things one day I will remember that which I have lost oh by the way it seems you've earned my gratitude the thieves who came here are no more why are you da 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 I'm not sure myself yet I am grateful all the same. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. Oh! I accidentally skipped Claude talking, which is like the one thing I want to listen hey, to. Teach. On the way back, you seemed transfixed by the canyon. Did something happen there? Yeah, I had this trippy talk with somebody that had the same name as me. It lives in my head. Actually, da da da. It seemed familiar to you? Huh. Can't say the same. Maybe it's a memory from when you were a child, or from a past life. Anyway, if you can't remember, I guess there isn't really much more to be said. Although, I'll admit, there is something about that canyon that has me captivated as well. How did Xanado come to be called the Red Canyon? Because it was covered in blood! Nothing there was actually red. Blood of bandits and thieves that I have murdered. <laughs> My Sotha's voice. It's covered in blood. So blah, it, blah, blah, blah. Of course. Good. Blah, 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 blah. The goddess? Long the god, however, she... Yeah, I already know all this. I see. During your... Uh, as you wish. Feel free to watch our. I have no. Well, perhaps that. If so. Feel free to watch our Black Eagles playthrough if you want to. Of course, perhaps no. Actually, have me go through these conversations and listen to what they're saying. But right now, I only care about what's different in the Gold Eagles, and if there's like a cutscene that is very impactful to me on an emotional level, I might watch it. Part one. White clouds. Yeah, I don't need to listen to Dry Sensei's story. I'm sorry, Dry Sensei. I appreciate your stories, but I've heard them all before. You've been telling them to me since I was a little kid. I'm tired of them, Dry. I'm. A, it's. It's. We're in Chase Shippuden right now. I'm a big strong man, and I can hit people with my big strong man Rasengan. You taught me the Odama Rasengan. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that... Why would he do that? Lord Lin I gotta go Lord kill Lord Lenato. Excuse me. This is nice to meet Hey, Catherine. This mission Hopefully we can recruit Catherine now. It'd be sad if we couldn't. Hi, Catherine. Uh, you're curious to know how Marianne is doing? Go for a visit. Sure! I'm excited to listen to her paralogue. I ask for guidance. You're not paralogue, uh, support conversation. <gasps> da 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 uh, Professor, I suppose you came by to pray too? Something like that. Just passing by. I 
see. Well, that's why I'm here. What were you praying for? Oh, um, nothing specific. I only call upon the goddess to give thanks. Or perhaps to ask for protection. Anyhow, I should be on my way. Do you have a moment to chat? Um, okay. Da -da -da. I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. I'm not very good at talking to people. The truth is, I didn't interact with people too often before I came here. Why is that? Oh, um, no particular reason. I'm simply not very good at it. That's just how I am. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. No, no need to apologize. I'm sorry. You shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going now. Goodbye, Professor. So far, she seems like less interesting Bernadetta. Makes her twash! <laughs> that was mean. A Claude would like to speak with me. Yes, now is a good time. Hey, Teach. I see you're as stony-faced as usual. Hmm. I can't tell if you're feeling resigned or if you're just lost in thought. Or maybe you simply don't care about anything that's going on. Oh, sorry. I really didn't mean to be rude. I just find you fascinating. Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Can you spare some time? Sure. That's just the sort of attitude I'd expect from a new teacher. Speaking of, before you came here, you were a mercenary, right? Always getting your hands dirty on the battlefield and whatnot. It's a bit unusual that you suddenly decided to become a teacher one day. In any case, I've been meaning to ask. Did your father teach you how to fight? Yes, he did. I figured. Your father used to lead the knights, didn't he? And I hear he was a legendary mercenary as well. It must have been hard on your mother when you followed in your father's footsteps and became a mercenary too. I never knew my mother. I see. I suppose you grew up moving from battlefield to battlefield with your father then. You know, for someone who's right around the same age as me, you certainly have an unusual amount of composure. I guess it's only natural that you'd be different from young nobles who grew up in the lap of luxury. You don't seem like a noble either. Ha! <laughs> well, even so, I am heir to House Regan, the leading family of the Alliance. But I didn't exactly grow up in luxury like most people of noble blood. Hey, maybe that's why you and I get along so well. Folks like us should stick together. As house leader, I'll do all I can to help you out. We can start by making time for more little chats like this. Just shut up and kiss me. <laughs> and bang my butthole. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Oh, it's Sylvain's birthday. Uh, yes, I'll buy him flowers. They didn't ask me if I wanted to go to tea. I would want to tea with Sylvain. Or whatever. Alright, we're gonna have to explore because we need the things. Uh, really quick though, let's check our certifications. Oh, Claude can get certified. Nice. I feel like... Oh, but he might fail. But I feel like I should make him a Mimerdon because he gets the speed. And the speed will probably be better, right? Um, here, let's save, and if he fails, I'll make him a thing. If he, sa if he fails, I'll reset, and I'll make him a fighter. But I feel like the plus two speed is more useful than the dexterity, so let's see what happens. Come on, no squiggles. Hey, you passed. Good job. I'm talking about Cloud. I did pretty well. You did do pretty well, yes. 
So we switched him into that so he can get the plus two speed. She's already a fighter, so she's good. Um, Leone. Oh, uh, you know what, Leone? I think I'm gonna make you a soldier. I think I want Leone to go down the the riding class line. So I think I'll make her a soldier and see how she is as a horseman. I could actually make her go into a bow knight eventually. But I make her go into horseman anyway. And I'm gonna have her learn bows and stuff too. Ah oh man, Sylvain would be so much better. Is a mimer down for the speed too? You know what? I'll just make him a fighter. Since I think I'm gonna have, I think I was gonna go have him go into. Um, I'm gonna make him a um, Warven Lord, I think. Okay, and those are the ones I have at level 5. Got a lot of people who are close. And man, she's already almost level 10. Jeez. Alright, before we explore, let's do some support conversations really quick because we got a few of them. Alright, we got an Ignatz and a Hilda one. Da da dot. Uh, da da da. Da! Ah! Claude! Why didn't you say anything? And there's a lot of people that pray on this team. You were praying so fervently, I didn't want to interrupt. I appreciate the sentiment, but I wasn't praying. No? What then? I was just thinking about the goddess. Were you now? Fascinating. Please, go on. Just thinking about touching her boobies. Not here. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> so, you were pondering the existence of the goddess then? Yes. All right, consider this. The archives here have all kinds of texts about the goddess, right? But when people tell stories of the goddess, it's only myths and legends that glorify her. They probably hope to rake in more followers by glorifying the goddess as much as possible. That would be why the church tends to quietly shove all of their more questionable records under some secret rug somewhere. C Claude, don't put words in my mouth. That's not what I said. I was just... I'm wondering what the goddess looks like. Oh, this. That's the kind of thing I like to think about. What the goddess looks like? Well, I suppose if she really exists, she probably looks a lot like us. In fact, she probably wouldn't be so different from that old woman working here in the dining hall. No, she actually looks young with big green hair. What, Claude? Please stop. The goddess I imagine is absolutely beautiful. How rude of you, Ignatz. I'm sure that old woman was lovely back in her day. Bruh. Poor lady. Oh, that was Ignat's only support conversation? Alright, let's talk to Hilda. Huh? Are you actually reading, Hilda? I thought you hated study. Oh, hush. It's just a letter from my brother. He sends them all the time. Yeah, and they're just like blurred ink on a page. I can't make heads or tails of it. Your brother, huh? Isn't he known as a great general of the Alliance? A true beacon of... Don't even start. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh-oh. Better not let your brother hear you say that. It would break his fraternal heart. But all joking aside, it sounds like he really cares for you. You can say that again. He must be rather bored, too, now that the situation in Elmira has settled down. Ah, the Elmirans. The Eastern Menace, as they're often called. I did hear your brother had fought them a number of times. In fact, I hear he's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadir, the great Elmiran warrior. I've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadir in a past life. Nadir the Undefeated, was it? Just another grizzled old man as far as I'm concerned. The soon-to-be-defeated. But my father was ecstatic when he heard my brother had defeated him. He paraded my brother all over our territory. What a pain that must have been for our people. A pain? Any celebration is something to be enjoyed. Celebration puts smiles on faces faster than anything. I'm sure even you at least congratulated him, right? A smile from you would surely mean the world to your brother. 
Well, sure. Then he got all worked up and started saying things like, I am the protector of Bodlin. That's not far from the truth, you know. Why do you think the Almirans have been so quiet lately? They're wary of your brother. If House Goneril of the Border were a bunch of weaklings, the Almirans would have invaded Bodlin a long time ago. You talk about it as though you've spoken to the Almirans yourself. Well, I am heir to the leading house of the Alliance. I'm privy to all kinds of information, whether I like it or not. <laughs> you act so nonchalant about your studies, but you know so much about politics and history. You're a hard guy to grasp, you know that, Claude? Oh, I disagree. I'd let you grasp me any day. My hand, my heart, even my neck. Bow to bow wow. But if you want to know all of my secrets, you'll have to bear yours as well. He definitely wants to make her bear, that's for sure. Who else does Hilda got to talk to? Hilda's got a lot. Oh wow, Hilda's got to talk to everybody. Ooh. All right, let's try and get through some of these Hilda conversations. Right. Then this goes here. Hello, Raphael. What exactly are you doing with that piece of wood? Hey, Hilda. I'm just doing this. Yeah! With your bare hands. Impressive that just the outer ring is left. It makes quite a nice circle. Yeah. I just gotta polish it up and paint it. Then the base of the necklace will be ready. Sorry, did you say necklace? How's it look? I bet it's the right size, too. And this tree bark smells amazing. Now I just need to carve these boar tusks to hang from it. Boar tusks? I almost forgot. I was going to add these wolf claws, too. And I could even add some color to them. <laughs> and wolf claws? Huh? Is something wrong, Hilda? That necklace. It has a certain, uh, rustic charm? You're right. It really does. Want me to make you one while I'm at it? Oh, no. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Besides, I think it would look better on you than on me. <laughs> it would definitely look good on me. But this one's actually a birthday present for my little sis. For your sister? I mean, uh, uh don't you think she might like something more feminine? Something cute? <laughs> something cute? What's wrong with something tough and rugged? This necklace is going to have tusks and claws and stuff. <laughs> It's like, um, Colonel Armstrong getting something for his one. Colonel? Colonel Mustang. What was Armstrong? Oh my gosh. Was Armstrong captain? Luis Armstrong? I don't know. I'm getting something for his sister. His sister's a badass. But girls don't usually go for tusks and claws and stuff. There should be flowers or gems or... Here, I, I can talk you through it. If you're making a necklace for your sister... Major Armstrong. I remember. He was a major. You might try putting a pretty little flower in a small crystal bottle and sealing it with resin. If you say so. But where would I find a flower that was pretty enough? I didn't Google that, by the way, either. I just remembered. I was like, Captain Louise Armstrong. I was like, that doesn't sound... Major Louise Armstrong. That's, that's the money on the head right there. Except this guy has his hair, but he is buff. Honestly, I don't know much about flowers, but hmm, now that I think about it, this dude shaved his head. Could be an Armstrong in no time. I remember hearing about a splendid flower that only blooms near Fodlin's throat. Maybe I should have him become a warlord just so he can be like <laughs> um, Armstrong. That's funny. That's what I did with Alice, I guess. Fodlin's throat. That's on the eastern edge of the Alliance. I'd have to leave. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. That does seem like a bit of a stretch. Okay, let me think. Um, where'd he go? Well, no matter. Okay. That was Raphael's only one. Alright, let's see. I wanna go through all these. I'll go through one more. Sure. Thank you so much. You're always so kind to me. I'll have to repay you sometime. <clears throat> hmm? 
Um, Lysithia? What are you doing there? Don't tell me you were listening just now. And judging me, getting other people to do my work for me. I've got better things to do. Although, I do wonder why everyone is always so eager to help me. I only ask for help if they offer. I don't ever pressure people. So I've noticed. That's what strikes me as odd. I suppose they're just so taken with me, they want to help me out. I see. That would explain it. Oh dear, I was expecting you to argue, not to agree with me right away. There's no reason to deny what's clearly true. Everything about your outward appearance is immaculate and well thought out. Even your fingernails are always well kept and painted. No doubt your toenails are the same. I can't tell if you're complimenting me or accusing me of something. And you smell delightful. Like candy. Or wait, am I catching a hint of floral? I'm so glad you noticed. It's oil extracted from a flower that only blooms at night. Floral oils, huh? I didn't think they had much use outside of homeopathy and house cleaning. I have some right here, actually. Here, I can give you a splash. There we go. I put it on your wrist, so you'll want to rub them together. Body heat is what activates the scent. Your wrists and your neck are relatively warm, so they're good spots to apply the fragrance. For a very subtle fragrance, you can also try putting it under your clothing. <sighs> da -da -da. So, what do you think? Mmm, it's lovely. Now I smell just like you, Hilda. Uh -huh. Somehow, this makes me feel a little more mature. Thank you. So that's it. She just wants to feel more grown up. She's hard to read, that one. That smile, though. Who knew she could be so cute? Very cute. All right. Does she have the last three, too? I'm sure, unless they have ones with each other. Oh, no, I guess she does have one with Sylvain, but she only has one with Hilda. All right, so that's pretty much all I got left of those few. So we'll do that next time. All right, let's explore. All right, lightning fast exploring. I guess this isn't... Whoa, hey, so this... Do you not know that we've forgotten? You must... Things we can't are you hey, Leon, eh? I'm studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top tier mercenary professor? It depends how hard you work. I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here, I can tell you that. Who's over here? Ah. Fuck. First that bandit business, and now a noble rebellion? Are we ever gonna do anything but find and subdue people? Well, if we're just going to tie up loose ends, at least it'll be pretty safe. I don't mind stretching my legs for this one. And if Catherine's going too, there's a good chance we'll get a look at her relic in action. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. What was that in all the rooms? I guess not. Oh, there's the, one of the missions right over there. Right. And one of my classmates too. Hello, my classmate. Oh, it's Sylvain. Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. I saw him in the training ground. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Hey, Mercedes. I've heard whispers about Lord Lonato. 
Why would Alfred a ghost? I have a favor to ask of you. Talk to the cathedral's conjurer to learn various troubles plaguing the people in the monastery. Okay, that's uh, I like doing that one. The one where you like talk to people. What? I like that one. I like it a lot. All right. Submission over here. What? I desired fresh air. Wind feels nice. Hmm. I have a favor to ask. Huh. Oh wait, things are here. Hey, Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. What do you say? Inspirational. This flower is one that is training has given but Harvest. All right, let's plant. Plant some of this, some of this, and one of those. Let's go talk to the battalion guy. Oh, I've never been there? Dang. I thought I had been to this part before. Really not. They wanted to show me the cutscene. Hilda's over here, though. Hi, Hilda. Sir, your clothes are a bit dirty. I'd have expected you to be more careful, seeing as how you're a professor and all. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little. Where do we say? What do you require? Thank you. At the battalion, we're allowed to naturally. You can. Hello. Okay. No. All right, and then Marianne's over here, right? Oh, I like talking to this guy. Have you I like talking to that guy. He is cool, that's for sure. I guess I've never been over here either. Oh, hello, Professor. Um, was there something you needed? I came to see the horses. Oh, you like horses? I like them too. They're such kind creatures. Very much so. All right, let's go here. And Ignatz is up here too. We can also talk to Ignatz. What did you hear? The king spilling. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? I simply must thank you, Professor. Did you hear? The king spilling the. Okay, I already faculty trained with her. So she's the one that teaches me how to faculty train? Who else? I need to get my writing up as quick as. Castle Gap. It was by. Re I have a request. Oh. I need to work on this too, don't I? If I want to get into what's it called? Hey, you. If I want to get into Pegasus. Hey. Really? Hey, Ignatz. This place has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. 
Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. Do you like art? Oh, yes, very much. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art. That's for sure. Alright, is what's his face over here? Pointing is me as a member of... Now we're set at that. Wait, I'm already done with this quest? Hey, you. I gotta look for Sedith, because I, I think Sedith can teach me flying, too. So I can use Manuel and Sedith. Thanks for your help. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's in the dining hall. Oh, I should have went to the cathedral first. If you ha have you witnessed any such behavior? Actually, if you see anything. All right, flying. Practice. If you see anything. Oh, you're going to give me one at a time. Forgot about that. All right, let's do this. Got to complete this one. Oh god, everyone treats me like a child. Please do something. Oh, you shouldn't feel pressure to act older than you are. Thank you so much for your help. I had seen that one before. Hey, we got a steel bow. Oh, there's no other notes? Okay. Um, you know what, before I do the faith one, I'm going to make sure that I can do everyone's thing. Alright, we got Lysithia. Man, no one likes, no one likes this today. Is there anyone that I want to recruit? I mean, I guess all the Golden Deer people, or all the Black Eagles people I could just get easily. All right, let's do Lysithia and um, I guess we'll do Lysithia and Lorenz. I did not expect much from the dining hall, but this does not disappoint. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Okay. Now let's do... Who am I looking for? Raphael, Leone, and Ignatz. There's Raphael. Raphael and Leone. I'm still missing Ignatz. This. That. Oh, there's Ignatz. I guess I should pick somebody that I don't have then. Oh. I'd say Ingrid, but I'm already going to have a ton of flying people. I kind of want to recruit Dorothea just to have Dorothea. That's kind of a waste. I don't know. Let's just do Ingrid. If I want to recruit Dorothea, I was thinking about Dor recruiting Dorothea and Petra. And if I want to recruit Dorothea and Petra, I can just um, buy their support conversations because I've done all their support conversations. I could just buy them if I wanted. With renown. Alios is up here too, right? I can do an Alios faculty training. Oh, this one is what I want to do. Um, let's 
guess let's do Marianne and man no one <laughs> I guess I'll just pick Lorenz why not I can't see me 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 something appears to be wrong with my throat <laughs> Elios is up here though, right? Oh yeah, I have a support conversation with somebody. Do that really quick, so it's right over here. Newly gained support conversation. Oh, with Lysithia, sure. I've already heard it though, so we're gonna skip it. So feel free to watch the Golden Deer playthrough, or the Black Eagles playthrough, if you wanna hear that support conversation. Hello. Because I don't want to waste time and episodes of going through things we've already gone through. I don't see Ilios. Where is he? Is he on the other side? Maybe. Hmm. Gotta be over here. That's it. Ilios. No, where's Ilios at? It says he's over here. This there's something. Where's Elios at? Did I miss him inside somehow? Holy mo sorry, it's open to the All right, X training. And then I can't do the tournaments yet. So we might as well go to Catherine and do training with her. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Here to train? You really are as hard working as they say. That's an overstatement. I'm just me. Spoken like a true hard worker. I mean, I guess. Might as well. Here to train. I'll take it. I could buy her support levels too. I don't know why I did that. All right, done training. Done training. Done with the week. I mean. Of course we're gonna instruct manually. Alright, let's check my Oh Let me ask you something. God dang it. No. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to hit begin lecture. I hit the wrong thing. Oh my gosh, just so impactful. I accidentally hit A on that. I was trying to hit goals. Oh my gosh. It's so irritating. I don't care. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even want to read what he's saying. I don't care. Professor. No. God damn. I'm so irritated. Sure, whatever. I don't really care. Professor, I understand that you were looking to speak with me. Perhaps you would like some insight on how to write your next lecture? While I do have a great many ideas, it would be inappropriate to... Oh, am I mistaken? If that's the case, then what can I do for you? It's about the female students. The ladies have complained? To you? About me? <laughs> Preposterous. <laughs> there must be some mistake. I am the heir of the noble house Gloucester. It is bred in me to treat all people with respect. Rest assured, you will not find anyone more upstanding than yours truly. Perhaps the issue is that the splendor of my noble presence is driving the ladies to distraction. If that is the crime, I do confess. I hope I've not troubled the ladies' hearts unduly. It is your advances. They seem to find them troubling. 
Outrageous! That's absurd! Who would dare to allege such slander? Number of female students, actually. Of all the... <laughs> well, I suppose I have offered several of them the honor of dining with me. It is impossible to tell if even the most well-bred young lady is a suitable companion for me, merely by the sight of her. So, in order for us to get to know each other properly, it is appropriate that we dine together. Thus far, they have all declined, oddly enough. For some reason, they seem to be exercising some form of restraint when speaking with me. I would never insist, of course. But I will admit I have, on occasion, after a day's pause, issued repeat invitations in the fashion and style of a gentleman. That is the problem. What? Ridiculous! Dinner invitations for me? A problem? The very idea. I am a perfect gentleman, the son of a noble line. I have a wit like a rapier, and it takes but a glance to see that I'm gorgeous. No, I cannot believe such a thing. Are you sure this isn't the result of some sort of scheme? It cannot be otherwise. Someone has clearly devised a conspiracy against me. Someone who envies my position, who seeks to soil my sterling reputation with foul rumors. How crude. Please, Professor, it is beneath you to fall victim to such petty and obscene tactics. I implore you to take greater care in the future. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a great deal of work to do. Farewell. Da -da -da. Yeah, that's how I feel, because I say a fair begin lecture. Uh. Thank you. I guess we'll do our best. Well, at least that carries over. At least they're going to get some writing XP. I mean, I, I don't think I was terrible. What I missed on was the ability to train people. I'm beginning to understand. I think I get it now. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm getting. Oh yeah! Getting the hang. I'm getting the hang of it. All right. So this week's gonna be a battle week because I got two more. So what I'm gonna want to do is I'm going to want to battle, instruct, explore, instruct. And then battle battle. Alright, so I mean nothing's changed between this week and the last week. So I might as well battle. We got two auxiliary battles. Oh, really quick. Oh, we got a boolean. We got a couple booleans, don't we? more large bullions than just that one done with sell them must have as everyone's weapons looking oh, he needs a new iron lance all right sylvain needs a new iron lance and i should buy him an axe too And really, I should just sell his two. Because there's no reason for him to carry it, because it's just going to break right away. Okay, I'll buy her a new lance. You can already use a killer ants? Well. Wow. Maybe I should buy a steel one too for damage. Um, Hilda looks good. They look good. They look good. Uh, he looks good. 
He's good. He's good. I mean, he really doesn't need the training sword. And she looks good so far. Alright, let's battle. Do an auxiliary battle. Hopefully we can get through both these auxiliary battles today. And then tomorrow, we can not mess up the instruction <laughs> and do our instruct, uh, our instruct, explore, instruct, battle, battle mission. We should be able to get through all that in the next episode because, I mean, the second time exploring is much easier because I don't actually have to talk to anyone. Okay, so I get to use all 10 people, so I don't have to use any edge tents. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Oh, this is the split map? Dang. Uh, that's gonna be rough. Pull Isithia up here. Um, I'm gonna wanna put her down here, I think. Who can I send up? You know what, I'll send Lorenz up. And I'll send Claude down. And Ignatz is pretty bad, so I think I'll send Ignatz down. I'll put uh, her over there, and this should be good. Yeah, this map sucks. I'm worried about this map. Let's save again. Okay. Ready anytime. Stay focused. I stand ready. Oh! Oh! Uh. God, this is the second time I misclicked. Curve shot this dude. Let's hope we can survive these attacks. Okay, and everyone's moved but Marianne. Let's just put Marianne here. Oh, Ignatz isn't moved either. I believe Ignatz where he is. Wow, they double Raphael even when he's wearing gauntlets? Come on. As he's only level one. Dang, I missed. Uh oh. Lorenz gets doubled too. As Lorenz is also level one, jeez. Was it able to walk past my unit? What happened there? It's 
steady now. Oops. This is gonna be risky. But he did it. Good job. And he leveled up. Nice. Flames. Well, that'll kill him. Night Neater has a 94% chance to hit and a one shot. And a crit. Another one down. Just like that. I quad him, wow. As expected. Okay, now this side's a little bit more scary. They've held the attack with the bow. So, heal. Sorry. Nice, Marianne leveled up. All right, let's have him attack. This is an 86. I think I should take the 86. There we go. Good job. Strength in action. Hey, Raphael leveled up too. Making. Tempest Lance kills. Let's try it. There we go. Be gone. Let's kill this guy. Should I have held back? All right, let's heal Lorenz so he doesn't get killed. Oh, free iron gauntlets. That's good. We got EXP. Let us be cautious. Rusted gauntlets, okay. Let's do that. Let's have Sylvain bait this guy down. Whoa, the boss is going around. <laughs> Dang. That's what I'm talking about, so this. Man, 
Smash almost kills. Let's do it. Uh, can Raphael finish this guy off? Let's try it. He got the kill, so that was worth it. Should have trained better. Okay, let's. Ooh, I gotta get this guy. I gotta draw both of them out without taking too much damage. Can I do this? Uh, I don't wanna move Lorenz because he'll take damage. So let's just leave it like that. Dang, everyone's moving that way. Am I just gonna kill this dude right here? Oh, I got him! I 100% just killed that dude. That has a 4% crit. Oof. This just for the added hit chance. I stand ready. All right, let's hope this kills. Oh, come on! I missed really. I missed an 84. Come on, with how many 30s and stuff I've been hit, there's no reason that I should have missed an 84. I, I'll just get the axe XP, I guess. You fought well. Okay, the boss is turning around now. Oh gosh. Now I may have messed myself up in a whole different way. Thank you. if she moves all the way back what happens if he moves all the way back Not exactly one attack on him He's gonna do six damage Let's leave it like that. And I hit the 69 we're back, that's good.
Okay, let's try that. I'd rather fade back and have these people attack me than have me attack them and get attacked by four people. This is where I have them attack. Eighty one, how much is this one? Eighty three? All right, I gotta go for this one. You're out of luck. Good job, Sylvain. That's what I'm this talking about. Well, she's gonna take two attacks. I gotta heal her. She couldn't take two attacks because I moved him up. Okay, though. Still a good heal. I can smash and kill this guy right here. Good job, Hilda. And her crest activated. That's good. Sorry, did I hurt you? Oh, nice. Claude can just finish this dude off. That's good. Sorry, but victory is mine. Good to go. Um, Careful. Is there a way I can give him the last hit? If I do it like this, and he doesn't crit. Oh, we got a crest activation, and Sylvain got the kill anyway. Rip Sylvain. Sylvain, I was trying to not give you the kill. Jeez. And there we go. Actually, you know what? We're nearing an hour in this episode. Ah, yeah, you know what? We can probably get through the next one pretty quick, too. Let's do this one. The Battle in the Empire. Because we we might be over an hour at this point, but that's okay. This episode can be a little long. You know, I felt I I mean I skipped instructing, so I felt like I I owed you guys an auxiliary bell. <laughs>
I kind of want to get through as much content as we can each episode. Since we only have two Fire Emblem videos a week. You know, we only have those Saturday, Sunday episodes, so. I want to try and get through as much as I can. Oh, man, is this one the map? I think it is. Oh, good. It's not the one with, like, a hundred knights, though. But this is the one I was thinking it was. Um, if it was the one with a bunch of knights, we would have been in trouble. Alright, let's look at map real quick. Alright. So, I want to want to divide up these three. And I'm probably going to want to put... Uh, this might actually be fine. Let's move actually Marianne over there. Yeah, this might be fine. Okay, let's see what happens. Ready and willing. I got this. Uh, I don't know if I want Raphael to bait these guys or not. I think I do, though. And I'll have Hilda go down and him go down. Um, I'll have her. I'm sure she's fine to bait forward. Leave it to me. I put Lysithia there. Kind of worried about having Sylvain bait. Let's get to it. But I'm sure he'll be fine. Ready anytime. Who me? Whoa! One of the guys didn't go after Raphael. Oh, I'm having her still use the Iron Axe. That's okay. I mean, she's about to rank up with the Iron Axe, which is good. Wow, she doubles this dude? Hey, she got Axe Prowess 1. Nice. Well, that was a good hit. Good job, Sylvain. <laughs> oh man, I wish Lorenz was strong enough to get the kill. Lorenz has really disappointed me so far. He's like always like barely too weak. Go like this. Yeah. Oh, crit. Another one down. Good job, yeah, Leone. curve shot and just take this dude out. Never underestimate an outside. Sylvain sets him up and Claude knocks him down. Alright, let's heal Claude. <laughs> let's heal Sylvain now because he's taking two hits. 
Oh, right now, still give. Did I still not give people battalions? Oh my gosh, I need to remember to do that in the next episode. Uh, you know what? I'll stay right here. Dang. Each battle, a chance to grow. Doubling people like a fool. Let's hit this dude before he even attacks anyone. Uh, I'm kind of worried about Raphael. Let's go ahead and heal him. Sorry. There we go, Sothis. That's what I'm talking about. Man, Sothis is already maxed out this class too, dang. What's next? Job, Claude. Heal him up. Thanks for that. And now we can have him finish them off. Sorry, but victory is mine. Yeah. Close counter, very good. Nice, he's got curve shot. I don't even think that Hilda has curve shot yet. Now, assuming Raphael doesn't miss, this should be a kill. Hope he doubles. Was the other one a 90% miss too? Crazy. Get him back to full HP. Four away, she's so close. Hey, she got rest of gauntlets too, nice. Uh, let's use a vulnerary. Move Leone down and Ignatz down and everyone else should be good. Nice, 69 hit. Good job, Sylvain. That's what I'm talking about, Sylvain. Putting in the mad works here. Okay, there we go, Raphael. Respectable, Raphael. Maybe I should have Lorenz go into the assassin. If he becomes like half as useful as Felix was when Felix was an assassin, I feel like it's worth it. Ooh, get this kill. Come on, Leone, you can do it. Good job, Leone. That's what I'm talking about. Picking up the kill. Later. 
switch to iron gauntlets. Each battle, a chance to grow. Oh wow, she's all out of those heals. Oh dang, that's not good. Man, why do all these Mimerdons no pass? What the heck? Well, he's not going to pick up this guy either way. And he missed. Okay, he doubles. Very good. I'm talking about Raphael. And Raphael at level 3 finally. Nice. Make it... Got close counter now, so you should be fine. Okay, battalion endurance replenished. I don't trust Ignatz going down there, so Ignatz, you can go up there. I mean, as long as the other guy doesn't do 12 damage, we should be fine. That was the boss, wasn't it? Should I have held back? Oh, but I forgot he's not even attacking. Oh, that backflip, Claude! That's what I'm talking about. Claude picking up the last kill. It was a good try. And leveling up in the process. There we go, Claude. Being an epic mimer done. All for that plus two speed. That's what I'm talking about. I'd make everyone mimer duns if we could. There we go. And now we're going to go into the next week's instruction, which we'll do in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase. Going crazy doing this maddening playthrough and <laughs> signing off.